welcome back to my channel welcome back to another exciting video my name is ruth if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if it is your first time watching any of my videos you have done a good thing thank you so so much please consider subscribing to our fast growing channel uh like i said my name is ruth and on this channel we do all things home making home deco cooking cleaning anything in between mom life and uh i'm just um stay home mom from zimbabwe i live in zimbabwe so if there's something that you're interested in please just consider clicking on that subscribe button and that notification button in today's video we are going to be having a laundry room tour yes that's why we are in my laundry room today we're not doing any laundry we're just here to give so that i give you a laundry room tour a lot of you have asked me where i've gotten certain things how I achieve this look you all have been interested and you all have been asking me so I said let me just do a video for you guys and maybe give you a bit of inspo and just give you maybe ideas on how you can also decorate your laundry areas in your home no matter how big or small I hope I'll inspire you in some way so um, this laundry room is not a very big laundry room but we've heard to make it work and we've heard to make it very functional on a budget of course so uh i'm also going to be sharing with you at the end of the video on how you the three things that you need to have a laundry area in your home or to have an automatic washing machine in your home the three main things that i think you actually need it's just three and yeah maybe you can have also an automatic washing machine in your home so if that's something that you're interested in please stay tuned to the video the washing machine and the dryer these are what makes this room a complete laundry room these in the sink the hand washing area so um my washing machine is a high sense 10 kg front loader washing machine then the dryer is also a high sense tumble dryer so um, we put them here because we wanted it to have them to be close to a power to a water source and a power source so this was just the most the most uh functional or the most the place that made the most sense for us to put these two gadgets and it works the reason why we've got the dryer here closer to the sink is because when we got the washing machine first we didn't know that we were going to get the like the um, dryer so we already made connections for the washing machine the drainage and the inlet so we didn't want to play or temper around with that so we just left it like that next thing that we've got in this living in this um laundry room are these sinks i'm not quite sure i've shown you this area before but this is where we do all of our hand washing uh the story behind this sink is we got it we wanted a double one but then we couldn't get it from horses so we decided to get two single sinks then we had a welder join them for us then we had him also make this frame for us and then we painted the frame black to just match with the aesthetics of this um uh, laundry room these sinks are big guys and we do a lot of hand washing in here it only makes sense for us to have a hand washing area so this is just about it with this area is like this when you're coming into the laundry room that's how it looks like then moving on we go on to this um so right here i've got my diy artwork starting from the left i've got my diy artwork and then i've also got like i just printed those off pinterest and then i just put them in nice little frames then there on top i've got my diffuser i got it from avon 
and then I've got a plant there. Then I've got another plant. Those two, four plants, they're fake plants. I got them from Mr. Price Home. So these baskets, I've heard a lot of questions about these baskets. They got from checkers and they just like, um, five baskets i got them from checkers they were 64 rand each when i got them so in case you want these baskets you just um send someone to go to checkers for you and they were 64 rand each i tried to buy them in zimbabwe but they were just so expensive these are not like edges or anything they're just the uh, baskets from the checkers brand i thought they were not going to be strong but I've had them for almost a year now and they have held up and we use them every day guys right now when i remove laundry from the washing line i'm just going to be putting it in here and then after we iron it we put it in another basket then we take it to our bedrooms they do work quite a lot in this laundry room so if you're considering having something like this uh what we did was we just uh, got our carpenter friend we gave him a design of what we wanted we just got a design of Pinterest and we just measured according to the place that we we're working with. So what we had in mind for the design was somewhere where we could put these baskets because they are quite functional and they do look pretty. So um, we just got them like this and um, we got these baskets first and then we bought the wood. It was solid wood, I think. It was quite cheap. I think it is like $60 per sheet and then he used one sheet and then that one sheet, he did not even finish it. He then made something else. He made two more things out of that. I don't know. I remember if we got one sheet or two sheets, but um, I know that in this room, he used less than one sheet. So uh, we also got paint from Hostess deluxe paint and we love this paint guys it's not glossy and it's not um so made so it's very easy to clean and it just pops we love the color of this um paint this is where the uh, story of the blue paint started if you see any other cabinet that is painted blue in this house just know that it started from this laundry room we bought more paint that we needed we bought five liters and then you use like a quarter of it so i think if you want something like this you can get away with two liters of paint so um what he did was he just made this we gave him like the design that we wanted we didn't want something expensive we just wanted something functional something pretty so this uh countertop right here it's not um granite or anything this is just for um for my car it's just a countertop it's nice it's made it looks like marble and we love it because of that and um we just got it also from all says it was not that expensive and we actually used the remainder of this on two more projects that we had in the house so right here we just keep all of our um Detergents that we some of the detergents that we use not all of them in this cabinet here we have the baking soda the bicarbonate of soda the my comfort all of those and then the um, laundry pores and the bleach that we've got right there then uh here we've got this four plant just for decor in case you wanted to see this so down here i've got um some of the laundry detergents i've got auto washing powder then sunlight hand washing powder and then liquid laundry detergents right there then also under here i've got extra washing powder auto washing powder and then there's extra hand washing powder then there's the green pad the bar soap that we also use sometimes when we're hand washing then i've got um, more fabric softener and then we just have our iron there the ironing board also stays in here but i sent it somewhere to be fixed so it's not here at the moment so that's just about it with the cabinets they are quite functional and we like to keep all of these detergents all in one space to just make it easier for me. And 
and then right here is where we have the this is what they look like so in case you ever want to get something like this in your home is quite functional you've seen me using these baskets before whenever i have like the story with this laundry room actually started with um it was a dream a vision and um a goal that we both had me and my husband so i remember one day i was sleeping and then my husband just called me and said come and see what I've written. This room initially used to be a storeroom. It did not have any flooring. It did not have any uh, water connections or anything. So um, they just said, come, come and see. And then right behind that wall, he had written laundry room. And I said, wow, that's a big dream and a vision you've got right there. Then he said, why not? Why can't we turn this room into a laundry room? Because we're also considering having a sink outside to do laundry, to do hand washing. If you live in Zimbabwe, you know that mostly we put sinks outside whereby we do our hand washing. So we did not have a sink outside. So um, I just said that would be too much. And then he said, no, this is a small space and I think it can actually work. And then we just sat down and then we began to draft. That was about two years back before this room even came to life. So um, the first thing that happened was we got this. After saving, we had another washing machine that we got as a present, as a wedding present. So we sold that one and then we started to add more money, saving bit by bit onto that money that we already had for selling because we sold it for quite a good price. So um, afterwards, we then managed to get our washing machine. It was about a little over a year ago. So after we got this washing machine, we needed a place for it to stay and this room was just too dusty and it just not look pretty. I'm just going to insert photos so that you can see what it looks like and what it, what it used to look like. So first things first, we had to put flooring in this room. So then we got flooring into this room and then it was, it did not, the tiles did not cost a lot because it is a small space. So we did not put the water tiles. The only water tiles we put with these ones because these were left over from the bathroom. So if you've done a makeover and you've left over a towel, don't throw it away. So we just put those white towels here and then we just cut it a day and then there was just a uh, flooring and then it would look like this. I'm just going to insert a photo so that you can see. And then we just sit it with it like that for quite a while. Then the problem was, should we get something that is... Um, like hanging from the wall for us to store whatever we had to store like detergents, laundry detergents, the clothes and stuff. And then we came to the conclusion that maybe we could uh, actually invest in a cabinet, a small cabinet. And we just found designs on Pinterest and then went around something that would work for us. That's when we decided to get these cabinets installed. So they didn't cost us a lot because the carpenter that did it for us, he charges quite reasonably. And we already had some of these pools, so it would not cost us a lot. And these baskets were 64 rand each. And then this wood, I think the solid wood is quite cheaper than the wood that is like red wood. So we got it for sixty dollars, but then I think it was sixty dollars for a sheet. And then he used less than a sheet for this. Then this for my car, I think it was also sixty from our uh, worsted. And then we did not even use all of it. Uh, we had left all of this, which we used in the bathroom and in the playroom. And we love this countertop that even though it is not strong, it is quite durable, it is quite strong. You can just wipe it off, it is easy to clean. We just make sure to never iron on top of this, number one. Number two, to never put anything that can damage this. So, yeah, we've been quite careful. Then uh, the next thing that we did in this laundry room was get those two sinks. We needed them because we do a lot of hand washing and it just doesn't make sense for us to just have 
have washing machines and not have a place to do our hand washing so we got those and then it looked like that we did not have waters and it was not yet fully painted so we painted it white after getting those things but then we then decided ah, it wouldn't cost us much maybe just i think we used two boxes of towels to get this and then we got this towels now on sale i don't know what was wrong with them or maybe the other batch was a uh, demi so they wanted to just get rid of this so we got them made it for a good price in town and then we just put them here and then it just makes it easier for us to clean and then i just love the veining on this it's sort of a cool it, it's sort of a, it's it ties everything together with this countertop is complementing each other this veining that looks like marble and it's got like this uh inside of the vein this looks like an off-white and this looks like a gray it's not like a pure pure white when you put it against this pure white towel you see what i'm talking about so we love how it, it complements with this countertop and then i just the next thing it's just was just putting everything together i got this four plant from mr price home uh it doesn't have the price anymore but i got it from mr price home in this mini plant also in that diffuser is from a1 and then these i just printed them off uh ones. so that's how this laundry room came together it did not just come together the last thing that was bought in this laundry room was this dryer i got it as a bit the present last year on my birthday this is what i got it works guys and it's i don't think it's even that hard to operate you just need a power source and then you need a place that is well ventilated that's all you need and it has helped us quite a lot especially considering the fact that we don't have anywhere that we can hang dry our clothes in the house when it's raining outside so most of the times when it's sunny like today we just normally hang the clothes outside but when it's raining we use this dryer and it works like a charm so that's just about it with our laundry room tour i hope you like it i got i hope you got a bit of inspiration so i did promise you a video on how what you need for you in order for you to have an auto washing machine in your rental space so the first thing you need definitely and obviously is this not in order of importance because all these three elements are very important the first thing you need is a power source yes you need a power source my husband had to change this twice because the first two we had were just not strong enough to hold the washing machine so i think but this one works because it is quite heavy duty like he says and i haven't had a problem with that one and then the next thing you need is a water source so you also need a drainage pump so that the water can go outside <clears throat> so those are the main three elements you need and maybe if you're renting you can just discuss it with you.